All right, so today we're gonna to be checking out our 2010 Jaguar XK Portfolio Coupe. This beautiful car has only 32,000 miles on it. Being a 2010, this is the first year of the 5.0 V8. Um, back in 07 to 09, had a 4.2 with 300 horsepower, and this guy has 385 horsepower. So very nice step up from the earlier models. The performance of this car is absolutely beautiful car runs and drives to perfection so I'm just gonna start off here with a quick walk around the car uh, just walking around it the car looks absolutely gorgeous flawless paint all the way around just a gorgeous car uh, then I'm gonna dive into some of the imperfections do some close-ups we'll try to find every nick chip and scratch and ding and whatever issue on this car that we can find for all of our outer staters out there but again just walking around i'm about five feet away right now paint has a very nice glossy finish definitely a garage kept car absolutely stunning okay so i'm going to start off here on the driver's side Let's just look down the body. So from this view, it's looking very nice and clean. Even along that body line, a lot of these Jags, you know, with this aluminum body, you'll see a lot of dings there. I don't see any. So very nice and clean. On the front part of the fender, and you can kind of see with the flash on, the kind of sparkle that you get out in the sun. It's very nice. Uh, but I'm not seeing any chips or any marks whatsoever on this fender. Chrome badging's all intact. Down below, kind of see some, this might be some little bit of tar on here. That's still kind of stuck in the paint. A couple little chips kicked up from the tires. Uh, front tires here and wheel, really nice shape. Uh, the wheel, from what I can see, this has been refinished in the past. You can kind of see, you know, a little bit of curb rash, you know, where it was done before and a little bit of peeling here on the edge. But overall in good shape. Uh, tires were recently put on. They're from 2022. And these are the Michelin Pilot Sport 4s, which are very high-end tires. And you got plenty of tread. So we're like new. Mirror cap, just seeing a couple of little chips here on the front. Along the side, it's never been scraped, so that's good. Looking at the rest of the door here. Very nice. Even the edge of the door, maybe just one little chip there. That is actually just some compound. So this is nice, not any chips along the door where it's lowered up or it's been painted in anything. This is nice and clean. The rocker, also very nice. Just seeing couple of little chips here and out to the driver's quarter panel uh, so what I can see I can see one little baby ding Let's see if I can catch it right here super super tiny the rest of the quarter is looking immaculate also want to point out too uh, this chrome trim this is in perfect shape all the way around it's not peeling or has any acid rain on it on the weather stripping you can kind of see a little bit of discoloration but on the chrome very nice and clean okay so checking out the driver's rear wheel this one uh, looks immaculate. I'm not seeing any curb rash on it. This wheel 
does not appear to be refinished and if it was uh, it still looks like brand new um, also the pilot sport 4s on the back Let's see if i can find or i'm sorry pilot all season four uh, awesome from 2022 so these were all done at the same time rear bumper awesome gorgeous shape Super nice and clean. Just trying to see if I can find any marks. Just some very, very faint light surface scratches. Really nothing though. I think it's just a little bit of dirt in the paint. Yeah, bumper looks beautiful. Tail lights, awesome, very nice shape. Chrome, Jaguar, nameplate looks perfect. Checking out the spoiler. Looks brand new. Top of the trunk lid, there's a little mark here. And that's pretty much it. All right, let's check out the passenger side here, starting with the quarter panel. So looking along the top, I'm not seeing any dings or any marks. Very nice and straight. Going downwards. Still very clean. All right. So on this quarter panel, again, I'm not really seeing any marks. I actually do see a little faint ding now I got the flashlight on it. Kind of see it there, it's a little baby one. Body line looks perfect. Couple of little chips. Might be some tar build up on the rocker a little bit. Rocker again this side, never been scraped. Rear passenger wheel, very nice condition. And that's just a, yeah, it's just some dirt from the tire. So no curb rash on this one either. Same tires, Pilot Sport all season fours. Where's the date? 2022. So yeah, they're all, all in excellent condition, like brand new tires. So looking down the passenger door. So on that body line, I can see about two, three very, very small dings. And this is very common on this body line. Unfortunately, driver's side was super clean. So there's one right there. One right there, they are super tiny. And one right there, you can kind of see the chip on it too. That's a little bit dirt. So, rest of the door, there's no scrapes, any marks. Just from that little ding, I'm just seeing that chip. That's kind of the only one that kind of sticks out a little bit. Frontal view, can't see the dings at all. So on the passenger mirror cap, swung a little teeny tiny chip, no scrape along the side. And down the passenger fender. So along the bottom here, you can see a little tiny little chip. A few little spots, you know, where stones were kicked up, and some of this is just some tar. A little bit it's still stuck in the paint. All right, and the front passenger wheel, uh, kind of similar to the driver's front, just not as much rash. But you can see a little bit, you know, where this was repaired, kind of filled in. Looks fairly well. You can kind of see a little bit as far as the streaks with the dirt.
overall not too shabby. Uh, same exact tires once again. Pilot Sport All Season 4 2022. All right, and let's check out the front of the car. So the headlights look brand spanking new. I mean, there is just some very, very teeny tiny micro chips, but overall, I'd give these a 10 out of 10. No yellowing or oxidation whatsoever. Front bumper is also a nice shape. There is some very teeny tiny chips. As expected for being out on the road, but nothing crazy. So yes, yeah, so you can kind of see a few little tiny ones. And again, I got the flash shot, so it's really trying to highlight everything and I'm right on top of it, but being a distance away, you're really not seeing anything. Um, all the chrome, relatively good shape, just seeing a little bit of some chips, but it's not flaking or peeling off. Got one chip there that went through the paint. Most of these are kind of in the clear. Kind of see a little bit. Yeah, some of this is so there's a little bit of dirt and paint. And other side of the chrome, also real nice shape. So I see one little tiny scratch along the bottom here. Front lip is a nice shape. As you can see, there's no hard rash, not even really a rash that I can see under there. Even all the plastic behind it isn't all rashed up. So this guy was very good avoiding the curbs. Yeah, very nice and clean. All right, and driver's headlight, same thing as the passenger side. There's no oxidation, very nice and clean lens. On the top part of the bumper, I just see one little mark here, not even a chip, because it's not through into the paint. This looks like kind of like a little scuff from a chip or a rock hitting it. And we got a couple of little tiny chips on the hood. Pick up a little bit here on the front. But yeah, other than just little micro chips, there's really nothing heavy to point out. The hood's in phenomenal condition, it's not lowered up with scratches. Very nice, clean shape, no dings. She had a nice mirror finish. And I know I mentioned a little bit on the front bumper as far as a little bit of pieces of dirt in the paint. Um, the rest of the body, this is very nice and smooth. Our detailers do do a good job, but on the bumpers, they don't always get it as well as they do the body. Uh, the railings on here look phenomenal. The glass, there's no actual cracks or chips in the glass. It's just some little tiny nick spots, nothing that you would fill in. I think there's just a couple of those. The roof looks immaculate. I'm not seeing any dings, no gouges or scratches or anything like that. Very nice shape. Beautiful, beautiful car. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and conclude this video. We're gonna dive right into the interior next. All right, so diving into the interior, we we'll start off here with the driver's door panel. It's immaculate shape, all the leather is super nice. You know, there's nothing loose here on the door panel. Everything's nice and tight. All the carpet's in really nice condition. All the buttons look beautiful.
Bore jam, super nice and clean. Just one spot here, it looks like the seatbelt got caught in, made a little scrape on the door jam. The rest is looking very nice. Get this out of here. The carpets are in very nice shape, floor mats look great. Hardly used. Driver's seat cushion, very nice condition. Just in this little cloth section, you can see a little bit of discoloration on the high back. Overall, very nice along the bolster. You can see some a little bit of faint wear here. And I do have my die guy coming out next week, so I can have him fill this in to make it look brand new. So the rest of this interior is absolutely immaculate. Even checking out the dashboard, you see a lot of these where they start to pull up. This one looks perfect. The steering wheel is in impeccable condition, looks like brand new. And we gotta remember this is tan. Very nice shape. It's a little bit of marks that will get cleaned up there. Center console, all the wood, beautiful condition. All the buttons are nice shape. Very nice. All right, let's check out the passenger side. So passenger door panel, very much like the driver's side. All the leather looks perfect. This is slightly loose, but still I would say looking pristine. Railing looks great, all the buttons and wood looking perfect. Carpets nice and clean on there. Checking out the door jam. This side, there's no scrapes. Very, very nice. Carpets again, also in very nice condition. On the camera, for some reason, this looks dark, but in person, I don't see anything. So I'm not sure if that's a shadow popping up or what that is. Passenger seat looks beautiful. So going in really close, I can see some little faint marks on this cushion, but overall, super nice and clean. This cloth side looks brand new. The bolster looks brand new. The seat's in excellent shape. All right, so let's check out the headliner. This has got that nice suede cloth. So this main board here, this was recently done. So that is brand new. The pillars are original still in really nice shape there's a little bit of rippling next to these visors if i can zoom in over here kind of see it there along the pillar side Let me show you on this side so yeah it's so like right here in this spot you can kind of see a little bit where it's sagging pretty minor rest of this looks pretty good just lightly going undone back still nice and tight a lot of these you see where they just totally dip off and obviously that's the point where I would go and replace you see this crevice a little bit where that edge is coming up all the visors in really nice shape Nice and clean. It's your garage controls and parking sensors. So let's go ahead and check out the trunk. So you got a ton of room back here. This is just a front plank cover in case you need it. That's your, I think your DVD drive and behind all that is your battery and on the bottom you got a full spare kit and 
you got this little protective shield here. Blocks out any of the sun getting in the trunk. Keeps that all hidden. As you can see. All right, let's go ahead and do an engine startup. Starts up very nice. There's no vibration in this car at all. Even when I shift, I'm feeling like very little movement, all the mounts in real nice shape. Got the ventilated seats. Heated seats, which I'm definitely not going to put on. It's very hot out in Arizona right now. And we got a heated steering wheel. Got your Bluetooth. Navigation. Audio. Does have satellite radio. The portable audio. So inside here. You got USB and this iPod dongle here. I'll show why there's an extra backup key in here. And then this is a slit where you can put the key in. So if your battery ever died and you need to start your car, you can put it in there and it will start the car. And you can also buy these uh, iPod plugins in here for Bluetooth. They're on Amazon, I think they're like a hundred bucks. You'd connect your phone to that. And then when you click on the iPod, it's like having Bluetooth music without having the actual function. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's check underneath the hood. So I'll show you these lights here real quick too. Super nice and clean under here. Even this cover, this looks like brand new. So there's been no body work done. Everything's just nice and straight. Motor sounds perfect. Okay. Go back here a little bit and hear the exhaust. Just a little bit of rumble, but not loud at all. It's all stock. Get a couple revs here. Sounds very nice. Again, the car is still a little cold right now. Let's go a little slow this time. Very nice and healthy. All right, the one last thing that we need to check is the back seats. Move the seat up a little bit. So back carpets, still real nice. These seats aren't the best seats, so these really have not ever been sat and they look brand spanking new on both sides. Um, a lot of times on these XKs, you'll see the back seat rubbing against here. Well, this will be all cut up. That looks pristine. Let's check out the other side. Yep, same thing on this side, also looking perfect. And again, back seat looking immaculate. Even the seat belts and all that look brand new. Console, there's really no wear on this neither. 
back of the seats, excellent shape. It's a beautiful car. And when you drive this car, this is really where it stands out the most. The car just drives to perfection. All right, so that's gonna conclude the video here on the 2010 Jaguar XK Portfolio Coupe. Again, my name is Vince here at Midline Motors. Thank you for watching.